Now we will practice a process called factoring by grouping. This is sometimes useful with polynomials with more than three terms, specifically polynomials with four terms or an even number of terms. So here, if I have this polynomial with four terms, first I look at it and I see there's no overall GCF. Since there are four terms, I can group them and focus on them two at a time. The GCF of this group is x squared. The GCF of this group is negative 5. If I factor out x squared from my first group, I'm left with x plus 1. If I factor out negative 5 from my second group, I'm also left with x plus 1. If you do this correctly, there should be a binomial GCF that pops out the same. Binomial GCF. If I factor out that binomial GCF, what's going to be left over is the original GCFs of my two groups. And this would be my factored polynomial with four terms. So for this next example, change the problem. I want to do another example with four terms. So first, when I look at this problem, I see there's an overall GCF of 3. I need to factor out 3 first. That leaves 4 in cubed minus 20 in squared minus 1 in plus 5. Now, I will group what's left group these two and group these two. The GCF of this group is 4 in squared. The GCF of this group is negative 1. Now notice this 3 GCF is going to stay on the outside. And now I have 4 in squared. When I factor that out, that leaves in minus 5, and if I factor out a negative 1 here, that also leaves in minus 5. So now here is my binomial GCF of in minus 5. If I factor that out, I have in minus 5, and what's going to be left over is 4 in squared minus 1. Don't forget that GCF of 3 stays on the outside. Now you might be tempted to stop, but this binomial right here is a difference of squares. It is u squared minus v squared, which remember is to factor to be u plus v, u minus v. So I can factor this completely to be 3, n minus 5, and this one will factor to be 2n plus 1, 2n minus 1. So this problem was great because it required a GCF factor by grouping and then also difference of squares. So we will practice factoring all types of trinomials together in class 3.1.